God speaks in dreams. God speaks through visions. Somebody will tell you, say, uh, if you see this number there, no say it mean not so. If you see this number, no say it mean not so. If you see the one, no say it mean not so. <laughs> when I don't say see the number, I mean number the way they repeat, right? Number the way they repeat. If you see one 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 two 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 six 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 seven 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 nine 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 five 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 four four four, you get my point though. Wait to be the meaning for the number the way you see them. Wait to be the meaning. You see, I don't always stay when I say on this platform. Uh, I know the only can give you an update, like say, okay, now as in Amber, all day or say Amber, I did make sure say I also give you an update way be legit, update way if you learn something. Now, why that way, you know, you know, you, 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 you know, need for regret, so you follow me for this platform. You therefore be very happy because I will always make sure say, I keep you in track, I put you, you know, I bring the things in for your face, you see, we will help you, it will make you. You know, you be aware for a couple of things there. And I can tell you, I say, most of the things the way they happen for the life, it be spiritual. So my brother, my sister, I tell you, say, when you see this number then you give for you give for why something, you got my point of, yes. If you see five five five, uh one one one, two two two, three three three, which be their meaning there and all these kind of things then. Watch the video and you will like them. Yes, you thank me later. Yeah, watch the video. What does it mean to see repeating numbers in your dreams or visions? God speaks in dreams. God speaks through visions. According to Job 33, verse 14 and 15. So we know that already. Numbers 12, verse 6 tells us that God speaks in dreams and he reveals himself. He makes himself known even in visions. Acts 2 verse 17 tells us that, that God indeed in the last days, he will speak and he will cause men to dream dreams. One thing about dreams is that dreams are not translated, but dreams are interpreted. According to Daniel 1 verse 17, the Bible speaks about a skill of dream interpretation. The word skill there is actually the word sakal meaning supernatural intelligence to understand dreams. And Daniel had that skill. So allow me to talk about this issue that, or rather this mystery that people are experiencing almost every day, where people see repeating numbers in their dreams. 111, 222, 333. 444 555. Remember, dreams are symbolic and are not translated but are interpreted. What I want you to understand is that numbers, pay attention now, I've started. Numbers, they start from zero to nine. From there, numbers are repeating themselves. Let me say that again. Numbers, they start from zero. From there, they go to nine. From nine going forward, numbers are repeating themselves. We know what zero is. Zero is a number of nothingness, right? We know number one is a number of God, right? Number of leadership, number of greatness. Number two is a number of balance, number of witness. How can two walk together unless they agree? Number three is a number of revival, number of trinity, divine intervention. Number four is actually a number of good news, we know that. Number five is the number of grace, number of favor, number of mercy. We know that number six is the number of the men. God created men on the sixth day, right? We know that. The Bible says in the book of uh, Revelation, the number is the number of men. So we know that six is the number of men. Then we have number seven, which is uh, the number of perfection, the number of completion, right? This is where you finish. And we have number eight, which is the new beginning, the number of new beginning, because when God completes with number seven, he has to start. Remember in the book of Genesis, also eight, we have, in the book of Genesis number eight, we have Noah, his wife, his three sons, and three daughters-in-law, and God started a new generation through these eight people. Then we have number nine, which is the number of fruitfulness, right? The number of celebration. Most people love 
number uh, nine because it's a number that is connected to blessings, right? Joy, so to say. Then we have number 10, which is the number of responsibility, right? Uh, number of management. Then we have number 11, which is the number of gates. In most cases, doors, open doors, spiritual doors, spiritual gates. Then we have number 12, which is the number of the chosen, right? Remember, Jesus chose 12 disciples, 12 tribes of Israel, the book of Revelation speaks about the 12 gates that will be written, you know, all that. So it's the number of the chosen. When Moses crossed the Red Sea, took 12 stones, is the number of the chosen. But when we then go to 13, which I go deeper into that when we are in the school and in my book and all of that, since we're not talking about that, I won't explain that. So now, numbers will end at 12 in, you know, if... Most cases, when people dream, usually they will see 1 up to 12. But if it goes beyond, let's say you see 13, and you don't know what it means, or let's say you see 16, and you don't know what it means, the best way to interpret, not to translate, don't translate dreams, interpret them, is to add the numbers. So you add 1 plus 6 which is, right, 16, so you say 1 plus 6, it will give you 7, and we know what 7 means, right? So if you see 2, 8, which is 28, you say 2 plus 8, then it will give you 10. And we know in this case what 10 means. If you see, let's say, 97, right, then you have to, one way or the other, combine that. And when you combine that, it will definitely give you 16, right? 97, you say 9 plus 7, then it gives you 16. Then you say 1 plus 6, then it gives you 7. So it always has to go that way. That is interpretation, not translation, and right? And that is the revelation that God gave me. And everybody that I taught on that revelation, they experienced results and because it's interpretation, not translation. Remember that. But then again, when you see repeating numbers, I had to start there so that my foundation is clear. And actually, I don't have time. Hence, I'm running fast here. Uh, I have another meeting. So let's go to repeating numbers. Numbers like 111, right? <clears throat> Everybody knows that 111 is a number of access. Right, everybody knows that. 111, you know how gates are. 111. So it's a number of access. So God is giving you access to certain things, whether it's a higher dimension, to higher dimension, new job, whatever that is. You are, you are gaining access. Then we have now numbers like 222, right, which is a number of transformation. Number of transformation. Then we have 333. 333 has two sides in it, right? It is actually a number of supernatural help. It's a number of supernatural help. But at the very same time, 333 is a spiritual, it, it deals with spirituality. So there are two sides to it, right? So there is the diabolic side of it and there is the divine side of it. That's why witches or other spiritual wickedness thrives or they use the number 333. And then of course we have 444. As a matter of fact, I'm out of time, but I promise you, as you comment here to say, let's continue, Apostle, I will come back and continue this session.